all i'm brandy christina and in this video i will be showing you guys how i straighten my hair using the installer so right now i'm just separating my hair um, into two sections and then from those two sections i'll be separating it again into more sections making it four sections all together and each section i'll just put up into um a big bantu knot just to keep it out of the way So here's the part where I drown my hair in coconut oil. Literally, no games. <laughs> but first I have to get it a little moist. So right here I'm just taking a spray bottle filled with water. And I'm just wetting my hair just a little bit, not too much. Um, and this just helps the coconut oil really get in there and do its job. So now you guys see me finger detangling just a little bit. And that just helps uh, with the detangling process after the coconut oil is all in there. And here I am going hand with the coconut oil. So after I put an abundance of coconut oil in my hair, I'm going to start um, brushing out them tingles. Um, starting from the bottom and working my way up. I'm just gonna detangle my hair, um, both with the brush and with my fingers. Um, again, I don't wanna rip out my hair, so I'm being very gentle and patient. So once that section is all detangled, I'm going to put my hair in a twist just to keep it from getting tangled again as I move on to the rest of the sections. And I am going to do the same exact thing to the other side. So the reason why I add so much coconut oil to my hair before I wash it is because I need my hair to get the most moisture it can possibly get from all aspects. <laughs> like seriously, not even exaggerating, especially when I straighten my hair because once it's straight, I don't add anything to my hair except for maybe a little oil on the ends of my hair. So this coconut oil is much needed. I probably could have used a little more honestly <laughs> once each section is nice and detangled i am going to take more coconut oil and just massage that onto my scalp making sure that's nice and well prepped you know, no one wants a dry, flaky, itchy scalp. That's, that's just not it, at least not for me. So now we're going to heat this oil up. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I'm going to put a plastic cap on my head as well as my oversized bonnet. I hate this bonnet, but it's the only one I have. And I am just going to put my blow dryer attachment um, on my head as well. And this is just going to lock in some heat you know, just to really work the coconut oil in my hair and make sure it gets my hair nice and moisturized before I strip it out with the shampoo. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but really, that's kind of what happens, which is why I put a whole bunch of coconut oil beforehand. So once the 10 minutes is up, I am going to go get in the shower. So I didn't add the videos of me washing my hair because I plan on doing a separate video of me doing that. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. I look crazy, but I have my hair wrapped up in a t-shirt because if you don't know, a towel is really drying and it strips the moisture from your hair. So I'm going to take my Tresemme heat protecting spray. I had this for years. I'm just going to spray that all over my hair because you know, we don't want no damage, we no damage, no, no. <laughs> so 
So now I'm getting ready to blow dry my hair and I'm doing that same bantu knot method just to separate my hair. Now we're blow drying and I'm going to start by blow drying my roots and it just cuts down on the amount of heat that I put on, onto my hair, excuse me. Um, and then I'm going to take my roly brush, I have no clue what this brush is actually called, so it's a roly brush to me. <laughs> and I'm going to use that to help me go through my hair with the blow dryer. And I'm going to do that to each section. So my hair is finally blow dried and I'm taking down those bantu knots that I put up to um, keep my hair from getting tangled on that one side while I did the other and I didn't add the clip of the other side because I literally did the same exact thing to that side as I did to the other side. <laughs> so yeah, now we get to straighten. To straighten my hair today, I am going to be using the Instyler, the Notorious Instyler. I say Notorious because a lot of people have mixed feelings about the Instyler. I mean, it works on my hair, may not work on your hair, but some people just doesn't believe that it actually does work. So here I am showing you guys that you too can get your hair straight with the Instyler, or at least I can. So that gotta count for something, right? <laughs> So starting in the back, I split my hair into two and I'm just combing through that section. And here's the installer. So as you can see, the installer has a rotating iron and that's what's getting your hair straight. In addition with the brush, which helps smooth your hair out as you're straightening it. So I just passed through my hair with the installer once. Right now, I am going to trim my ends. This is what I like to do when I straighten my hair. After each piece that I straighten, I just go in and just take off the raggedy ends. And then I go back over um, the same section or same piece of hair with the installer. So I'm not sure why I didn't show you guys a close up of my ends after I clipped them. I'm sorry about that. But I will say that I do not at all get scissor happy. I literally just take off whatever split in or raggedy whatever that I see. That's all I do. So yeah, and I'm just going to finish the rest of my hair. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Please subscribe, like, share, rate, comment, whatevs. But definitely continue to watch to see the results at the end. And yeah.
Got another straight. I'm gonna show you guys the back. So yeah. So for the most part, this would be. I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna go do my makeup. So I didn't get to film myself after I got all dialed up because I was running really late to my mom's holiday party. But what you're seeing right now are some pictures that I took while I was at the holiday party as well as a video of me and my siblings. I hope you guys liked this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.